Hi guys, Jeremy here, and in today's video, we're going to talk about Go High Level CRM. We'll cover its core functionalities, explain the differences between contacts, leads, and opportunities, and show you how to add and manage contacts in GHL. So we'll also cover tags, segmentation, and smart lists for targeted marketing. But before we get started, I have a special offer for you. So normally, if you go through Go High Level's website, you're going to get a 14-day free trial. However, if you use my link, you are going to receive a 30-day free trial. And on top of that, just as a big thank you, I'm also giving you access to my full course, Go High Level Jumpstart, which walks you through setting up and launching your business within those first 30 days. Now, Go High Level has a ton of features and it's really easy to get lost. So in my course, I highlight some of the most important aspects to focus on, helping you start making money using Go High Level in those initial 30 days. Additionally, you are going to receive my top-notch, high-quality templates for free, including the Business Hub template for managing your business and the Finance Hub for tracking your finances, among others. Now, these are worth over $900, but I am going to give them to you for free just simply as a thank you for using my affiliate link in the description. Simply click the first link to find all the details about these offers and how to claim them. It's just, again, my way of saying thank you for supporting the channel. Now, let's dive in. Next, let's talk about one of the most powerful components of Go High Level, the CRM and its core functionalities. The CRM in Go High Level is a centralized system that allows you to track, manage, and organize all of your client interactions and relationships. It's much more than just a simple contact list. It gives you all of the tools that you need to manage leads, track communications, nurture client relationships, and close deals more effectively. The CRM allows you to store contact information, track past and ongoing interactions, set reminders, manage opportunities, and even automate parts of your communication process. For example, the CRM automates follow-up emails and it keeps track of which prospects need to be contacted. This way, you can stay on top of every relationship without worrying about missing a potential client. The CRM is integrated with the rest of the GHL so that you can move contacts through marketing funnels, assign tasks, and collaborate with your team all in one place. Now, this integration makes GHL an efficient and seamless tool for managing every aspect of your client relationships. Now, it's important to understand the difference between contacts, leads, and opportunities in Go High Level CRM. Now, these distinctions are key to managing your workflow effectively. Contacts are individuals or businesses whose information is stored in your CRM. They could be anyone, existing clients, potential clients, vendors, or partners. Think of contacts as a general category where you store information about anyone that you need to interact with. Leads, on the other hand, are contacts who have expressed some level of interest in your services, but are not yet customers. Leads need to be nurtured and guided through your sales process. For example, someone who signed up for a free consultation or downloaded a lead magnet on your website would be classified as a lead. Your goal with leads is to nurture them through communication, follow-ups, and content until they're ready to make a purchase decision. Opportunities represent potential sales or deals that you are actively working on. An opportunity is created once a lead shows serious interest in your service or product, and you can quantify the potential business value. Opportunities are usually tracked within sales pipelines to help you visualize where each deal stands in the process, whether it's in the early stages or close to being finalized. Now that we have discussed the difference between contacts, leads, and opportunities, let's move on to adding and managing contacts. To add and manage contacts in Go High Level, you'll need to click on the Contacts tab within the left menu of your Go High Level sub account. Now, this will take you to the Contacts page where you can view, manage, and interact with all of your contacts. And now that you're on the Contacts page, let me guide you through its different sections. The Contacts page is organized to make it easy for you to find and manage your contacts effectively. Each section has a specific purpose 
that helps you interact with your contacts in a more organized manner. So let me walk you through each section so that you'll have a better idea. So the first section that we have is smart lists. Smart lists are customizable lists that let you organize your contacts based on different characteristics. You can easily group contacts by things like location purchase history or their current status. Now, this makes it easy for you to target specific groups for marketing campaigns, ensuring that you are reaching the right people with the right message. Moving on, bulk actions allow you to apply the same action to multiple contacts at once, like sending bulk emails or adding them to an automation. This is especially useful when you need to communicate with many contacts at the same time. Next, we have Restore. Now, this section lets you recover a contact that might have been deleted by mistake. Then there is Tasks, which can be assigned to yourself or your team members directly from the contacts page. Now, the company section allows you to associate multiple contacts with a single business client. And lastly, we have the Manage Smart List. Now, this is where you can create and modify smart lists to easily segment your audience and make your contact management more effective. Okay, so we've covered the contacts page overview. So let's go ahead and add new contacts. So adding new contacts in Go High Level is a simple process. Just click on the plus sign on the contacts page, which is going to open a contact form. Let me show you how you can fill out each section of the form. The personal logo field lets you add an image or logo for the contact by clicking on the plus icon. And make sure that the image size is 512 by 512 pixels and no larger than 2.5 megabits. The first name and last name fields are where you input the contact's name. Make sure that you enter the details accurately. In the email field, add the contact's email address and you can add multiple emails by clicking the add email sign, which is helpful for contacts with more than one email. The phone number section allows you to select the country code and enter the phone number. You can add additional phone numbers if needed. The contact type dropdown lets you select the type of contact. Now, this could be a lead, it could be a customer, a vendor, or whatever. It, what it does is helps categorize your contacts for easier segmentation. The time zoning settings allow you to set the contacts time zone. Now this helps schedule communications and automations at time that suit them best. The DND or do not disturb toggle is for contacts who do not wish to be contacted through specific channels. Now you can choose whether to block emails, text messages, calls, or voicemails. And finally, once you have filled out all the details, click the save button to add the contact to your CRM. Now that you know how to add individual contacts, let's talk about importing multiple contacts at once using the CSV file. Now, if you have an existing contact list that you need to import, you can do so easily using a CSV file. Now, let's walk through the process step by step. To import contacts, click on the import contact icon. Once you click, a pop-up will appear and you'll need to go through three steps to import contacts. The first step is upload. Click on the upload a file option on the contact page. Now you can drag and drop your CSV file into this area or you can click upload a file to select it from your computer. Just make sure that the file is a CSV format and under 50 megabits. Once uploaded, click next to move on to the next step. Now the next step is map. In the mapping step, Go High Level will ask you to match the columns in your CSV file with the corresponding fields in the contact form. For example, map the column containing names to the name field and so on. Review the matched fields carefully to ensure that everything is accurate and then click next. Finally, you will need to provide details about the import. You need to give the import a name, which will help you identify it later. And you could also create a small list of contacts from the import if you want to organize them into a specific category. There are several advanced options available and you can add new contacts and update existing ones 
add only new contacts or update only existing ones. Set matching preferences to avoid duplicates and add tags for easy filtering. Now, once all the details are provided, confirm the consent checkbox and click submit to complete the import process. Now that we've discussed adding and importing contacts, let's explore other options that you have for managing your contacts effectively in Go High Level. One of the key options is pipeline change. Now, this allows you to move contacts from one pipeline stage to another as they progress through your sales funnel. It helps you keep track of where each contact is in the sales process. Another option is add to automation, where you can add contacts to an automated workflow. Now, this can be a follow-up sequence, a welcome email series, or any other automated campaign, saving you time and effort. You can also send SMS or email directly from the contacts page. Now, this feature makes it convenient to communicate with your contacts instantly without switching to another tool. With add tags, remove tags, you can categorize your contacts into different groups. Now, tags are useful for filtering contacts and keeping your CRM organized. So if a contact is no longer relevant, you can use the delete contacts option to remove them from your CRM. Another option is to send review request. Now you can request reviews from your contacts, which can boost your business's credibility and bring in more clients. If you need to work with your contacts outside of GHL, you can use the export contact option to export contact information as a CSV file. The add edit company option allows you to associate a contact with a specific company or update their company information, which is useful for managing business clients. Lastly, you can use the merge contacts feature to merge up to 10 contacts, helping you consolidate information and remove any duplicates in your CRM. All right, we've covered how to add and manage contacts. Now let's move on to organizing them more effectively with tags. So tags are a powerful way to organize your contacts in GHL. They act as labels that can be added to contacts to group them based on specific criteria, such as the source of the lead or their level of engagement. Now to create a tag, simply go to the contacts tab, select a contact and then click add tag. You can create a custom tag based on your needs, such as hot lead, webinar attendee or VIP customer. Now tags make it easy to filter and find contacts, especially when you're running specific campaigns. For example, you might create a tag for everyone who attended a recent webinar, then send a targeted follow-up email to that group. Tags also help you manage contacts in bulk, such as adding a tag to hundreds of leads that you imported from a CSV file. Next, let's talk about segmentation. Segmentation is crucial for personalized marketing. Instead of treating all of your contacts the same, segmentation allows you to divide them into different groups based on their characteristics or behavior. For instance, you might segment your audience based on their location, age, interests, or where they are in the customer journey. Segmentation helps you tailor your communication to each group. For example, you can create a segment of new leads and then send them educational content that introduces your services. Meanwhile, you can create another segment of existing clients and send them upsell offers or loyalty rewards. Using Go High Level's smart lists and filters, you can easily create segments that ensure you're sending the right message to the right people at the right time. Finally, Let's discuss building smart lists for targeted marketing. Now, smart lists are dynamic lists that update automatically based on the criteria that you set. For example, you can create a smart list of all contacts who have opened an email in the last 30 days. The system will continuously update this list as contacts interact with your content. Now that's a wrap on today's video on GHL CRM. We've gone through how to use the CRM to manage contacts, differentiate between leads and opportunities, and 
make the most of the tools that Go High Level offers to streamline your client relationships. If you enjoyed the video or if you learned something new, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more Go High Level content. And don't forget, if you want to try Go High Level for 30 days with all of the bonuses that I mentioned earlier, just click the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.